Today, we are reading Bach to the Rescue, How a Rich Dude Who Couldn't Sleep Inspired the Greatest Music Ever. Hey, it's me, Bach, the greatest composer ever. Have I ever told you the story about Goldberg and the rich dude who couldn't sleep? It happened about 225 years ago, but I think it's better to start a story like this with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there was a rich dude who couldn't sleep. Now, if a normal person can't sleep, they just have to deal with it. But this rich dude was so rich, he could pay someone else to deal with it. So when this rich dude couldn't sleep, which was every night, he would yell, Goldberg! Goldberg was the rich dude's personal musician. I told you, this rich dude was rich. He even had his own musician. And if he wanted to hear a song at three o'clock in the morning, then Goldberg was supposed to play it. Unfortunately for everyone, Goldberg lived in the basement. So the rich dude had to yell Goldberg really loud. Even worse, Goldberg was hard to wake up because he was still tired from being woken up the night before and the night before that and so on. So the rich dude had to yell really loud. And when the butler woke up, he would yell too. And when the maids woke up, they would yell too. Goldberg, get out of bed, Goldberg. And when the rest of the village woke up, they would all yell too. Goldberg, wake up. Finally, Goldberg would sort of wake up and the butler and maids would push him up the stairs to the rich dude's room. You called, sir? Goldberg, I can't sleep. Play me some music. Now, if Goldberg played the flute or the harmonica or something, that would have been okay. But Goldberg played the harpsichord. A harpsichord is basically what they used for a piano before the piano was invented. Now, the rich dude didn't want to get out of bed, so the maids had to carry the harpsichord up the stairs to his bedroom. Daggum, Blanche, this piano must weigh 738 pounds. It's a harpsichord, Mabel. Pianos haven't been invented yet. By the time they got the harpsichord up the stairs, Goldberg would have fallen asleep again, but the rich dude was still wide awake. Goldberg, wake up! So finally, Goldberg was ready, the harpsichord was ready, the rich dude was ready, and the town was grouchy and grumbly. But then, Goldberg would play. He would play the most beautiful lullaby ever written. And he would play it very beautifully, because he was a really good musician, after all. And the villagers would stop grumbling, and they would say nice things about him as they drifted off to sleep one by one. Soon, the whole town was happily asleep, until... Goldberg! Huh? What? Huh? Ugh, that dodo blew it again, said Goldberg's mom. Goldberg, you know my rules. No lullabies. They don't work on me. So Goldberg would try a waltz. Goldberg, it's too late for dancing, you fool. Or a sonatina. Too slow. Or a minuet. Too fast. Or a toccata. Too toccata -ly. And so on and so on. The next day, the entire village would be tired and grumpy. I'm grumpy. I'm tired. Woof. Tired and grumpy dog. And the butler would be tired and grumpy. And the maids would be tired and grumpy. And the rich dude would be tired and grumpy. And they all blamed Goldberg, who would have been tired and grumpy, except he was asleep. And then, after a long day of being tired and grumpy, they would all go to bed tiredly and grumpily. And just after they fell asleep, Goldberg! And the whole thing would happen all over again. Grumble, mumble, grumble. Every night, Blanche, every stinking night. Yeah, and why can't Goldberg play a flute or a harmonica or something? So pretty soon, everyone was tired and grumpy all the time, and they all hated Goldberg, and everything was awful. But then, I showed up. Don't I look nice? That's my best wig. Yep, it's me, Bach, the greatest composer of all time. Ah, Batch, great to see you. Uh, my name is pronounced Bach. Yeah, whatever. Listen, buddy, I need you to write some new music for Goldberg here to play for me when I can't sleep. Like a lullaby? 
No! I hate lullabies. They don't put me to sleep. They just bore me. I need something new, something so interesting that I won't mind being awake. Hmm. When it was time for me to go, Goldberg whispered in my ear, Are you going to do it? Please, pretty please. Are you? Huh? Please? You've got to help me. Please? Huh? Will you? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Listen, the rich dude is really picky, but he's also really rich. Hmm. You'll have to write the greatest music ever written ever. Hmm. He'll pay you a fortune if you can do it. Oh, I can do anything. I didn't have time to compose anything right then, but being a wonderful person, I promised to help. I can't wait to get out of here. Everyone's too tired and grumpy. Bye-bye. In the village, time passed slowly. Every day. Goldberg, any mail from Bach yet? Every night. No, 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 Goldberg, play something else. And everyone just got tireder and grumpier. But I hadn't forgotten about Goldberg and his little problem. So I took some leftover notes and a dance hall tune and an old folk song or something and mashed them all up, and it was the greatest music ever written ever. And I stuffed it all in an envelope and sent it off. Yes, it's just that easy for me. I'm Bach. Two, rich dude who can't sleep, tired and grumpy town. Attention, Goldberg. Goldberg, it's here. When they opened up my letter, they found 32 little pieces of the greatest music ever written ever. Actually, it's only 31. I used one of them twice. Shh, don't tell anyone. Goldberg locked himself in the music room all day to study the music. This stuff is nuts. It's too many notes, and some of the notes have these little squigglies that means they're really three notes, and Goldberg, aren't you ready yet? And that night he played it, and the villagers liked it. That Bach is really amazing, and so is his wig. I just love number three. This is the greatest music ever written ever. So beautiful, but I'm getting sleepy. I like the way Goldberg plays all of them. He's a wonderful son. And the butler liked it, and Mabel and Blanche liked it. You know, Mabel, it's like being in a thunderstorm of notes. Right, but they don't make a big, messy puddle. Instead, each note falls into just the right spot in my brain. And most importantly, the rich dude liked it. Ah, Goldberg, it's wonderful. The next day, the happy and well-rested villagers had a parade and carried Goldberg and his harpsichord through the village in triumph. Goldberg slept through the whole thing. And that was how the greatest music ever written ever was written by me, or something like that. The most important thing is that everyone lived happily ever after. Did they? I have no idea. All I know is that the rich dude sent me a whole bunch of money. Woohoo! Now that's a happy ending. The end.